Hi, my name is Paul Fiddler, a field sales engineer here at Meraki. Today we're going to look at how we can remotely connect to desktop computers with Meraki Systems Manager. The reason for this is at the moment, many of us are being forced to work from home and the ability to walk over to a user's computer and diagnose and fix problems is non-existent. So we have multiple capabilities within Systems Manager that allow us to do this remotely. So in our device list, we're just going to pick a computer such as this Mac Mini. And we can scroll down and as you can see, we've got multiple different capabilities here. The first one that we're going to look at is the process list. And as you can see, there's multiple processes running on here. Should a user be having a problem with a particular process which is con con consuming um, too much memory or CPU, we can remotely kill this from here. Command line we'll get to shortly, but the next capability we're going to look at is remote desktop. So we can hit the connect button and this will start a secure tunnel to the computer itself and this will be rendered within the web browser. And we can obviously interact with this. We can start applications, etc., etc. But what we might want to do is to actually connect to multiple computers. So we can actually go to remote desktop in the monitor menu. And as you can see, we can see all of the different computers which are currently online. We also have the ability to search for particular computers up here as well. So let's connect back to our Mac mini that we were just looking at. Now this will launch a, the Mac screen sharing application, which makes things just that little bit easier. And as you can see, we have our computer again, and we can really easily interact with this. So let's close that. What we can also do is we can go to the command line on these computers. Now this particular capability here is useful for issuing solitary commands. So we can issue commands such as software update to see remotely what software updates are available for all of our computers. Now this is useful for, as I mentioned, solitary commands, and it's not meant for commands that take longer than 45 seconds because the tunnel will be closed down automatically. And as you can see, one of our computers has no software updates available, but the other computer does have a security update that we can then issue a command to install. So how do we actually do that? So we're going to go back to our computer. We'll go back to our Mac mini here. And as I mentioned earlier, the ability to issue solitary commands is quite useful, but sometimes you may wish to have an interactive session. So for example, we can go back and type in our software update minus L. And as you can see, there's no software updates available for this particular computer, but I'm still in this session. So if there was a software update available, I could then issue a command to actually go and install this as well. So how else might you use this tool? Well, you may wish to, using the package delivery capability in Systems Manager, to deploy packages ahead of time to computers. What you then may wish to do is to actually run the installer command from this tool here to ensure that every single one of the packages is actually installed. So we've just had a look at how we can remotely connect to desktop computers to issue commands and to help users should they be having problems. Thank you very much for joining. Hope to speak to you soon.